men, vasectomies. Somebody wants to make it law. Whenever we talk about reproductive rights or reproductive laws, uh, women are the center. Men are not, even though it takes two to make a baby. However, there is an Albany state representative who wants to change that. Now, I'm not going to say if this representative is Democrat or Republican because that's not the point. When I saw this article this morning, my eyes popped out, and I think it makes a very interesting conversation piece. I'm going to read it to you. And Albany, okay, this is for Albany men, not for everybody, but Albany men. Albany State Representative noticed that all the laws limiting or requiring reproductive behavior centered around women. So this person wanted to make the playing field a little bit more fair. This person filed what they call a statement bill that would, that would mandate every Alabama man to undergo a vasectomy within one month of his 50th birthday or the birth of his third biological child. So that means if you're 18 years old and running around um, with no impulse, no impulse um, control, and you're making babies, by the time you pop that third baby, for some somehow, I don't know how this bill's gonna work, <laughs> they'll find you and drag you in the hospital and snip, snip. Or if you're 50 and you don't feel like having kids, but you fall in love with somebody, and you get married by age of 51, you wanna have a kid, no can do, snip, snip. Now, there's no chance that this bill is gonna pass because first of all, it's unconstitutional. You can't force people into sterilization. However, that has been done, especially on minority women. With black women has been done in the early, early and mid 20th century. And in 1960, there was a case where um, poor Hispanic women, a lot of them on the government, on the government, um, assistance, they had a lot of kids and they went in to have a, a, their, another, another baby and they were sterilized. And you think that would be the end of it, right? But no, in the 21st century, this still happens, but it happens to poor women. In 2006, this Russian woman went in to have a C-section and while she was giving birth to a baby, I think after she gave birth to a child, she heard one doctor say, okay, the left one is done, let's do the right one. And it wasn't until she, her head was cleared and she was back in her room that she found out that they had, did, they had tied her tubes without her consent. She didn't sign a consent form. That's why now she has a lawyer. This made the papers and a big fuss, but not because of what the hospital did. She was giving birth to a ninth child and she was on welfare. She received a lot of hate mail a lot of hate on her Facebook and Instagram account. However, she said it's not what it seems. The first four babies were with one partner who she said worked and paid child support, but died of cancer. She was with him for 10, a couple of 10 years, didn't marry him. Her second partner, she was together for 10 years, didn't marry. Um, he worked, however, she was still receiving government assistance. I guess that, um, I don't know why they didn't get married, but he, I guess, wasn't making enough money that would prevent her from just staying home with the kids without relying on government assistance. And I think that's what people were angry about, that she had nine kids and she was on government assistance. And the reason she had another baby is because with this partner, they had a lot of kids, a lot of girls, and he wanted a boy. And unfortunately, I don't think she got the really reason why people were angry because she said she, her main reason was now that she had the um, sterilization, she was worried that he would leave her because she couldn't give him a boy. And that's a whole another video. However, the point is the reproduction, reproductive um, issue is now focusing on men. Now this bill will never pass because like I said before, you can't force people to have sterilization, even though there have been cases where doctors and um, counties have done it, especially on poor people. Men, I wanna know what you think. Do you think men should have vasectomies after the age of 50? I mean, do you think a man should not have kids after the age of 50? I mean, should he be living the second part of his life and not worrying about raising a kid again? Should he not have any more children after number three? 
I know a lot of people have come from big families and they want big families themselves because that's what they used to. That's what they dream about. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'd be very interested to hear what you guys have to think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.